what happened to the water level when a slice of lime is placed? Water is displaced. Then, what happened if we put an egg? The water is displaced higher. Now, let's put all of them together. We will see the water is displaced the most. An ancient mathematician, Archimedes, found out about buoyancy. Archimedes' principle explains about the water displacement we were talking about just now. Now, we have a ball. The ball is floating. There are two forces acting. So we see the two forces are equal but acting in the opposite directions. Now we have two balls. One is made up of rubber and another one is made up of steel. So what will happen to both of them? Yes, what you observe is right. One is floating and another one is sinking. And why is that? That is because they have different masses. Now let's talk about the ship. The ship must have a very high mass and weight. Right? But why is it not sinking? A floating object has a buoyant force. The fluid exits the buoyant force. Buoyant force is acting upwards. Archimedes principle states that the buoyant force applied by a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. A simple example can explain this. Take a 5 kg solid object and suspend it by a spring balance. The balance will reach 5 kg. So this is the first situation. Now let's say we have a second situation. Take a Eureka can, fill water until full, place a small beaker below the opening. Now solve it into the water slowly. You will see the reading will be lower than the first situation. And why is this? This is because buoyant force acting on the object upward. You see also that water is displaced. We can measure the weight of the water displaced. You will find out the weight of water displaced is equal to the buoyant force. So that explains why the ship floats even though it made up of steel and heavy metals. You can watch the next video about the activity you can do at the school laboratory or at home during this weekend. Have fun! Think you learned something from the video? Please subscribe. See you again!